Season four is going to be the biggest update we have ever made to Diablo 4 since it has launched. Our focus on season four is to really make a lot of evergreen updates to the core systems of Diablo 4. In season four, we're ramping the intensity across the seasonal and eternal realms through a collection of new activities aimed at ensuring the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay experience is as exciting and rewarding when Hal comes to Sanctuary. Season four item changes are some of the biggest changes we've made to Diablo 4 thus far. We've never done anything like this. We are fundamentally changing how you engage with items, how you upgrade them, and along the way, solving a lot of things that we've seen continually from our community that we agree with are pain points of our existing item system right now. So in this new itemization system, we're focusing on narrowing down the scope of the base affixes. They're going to be a lot simpler, they're gonna be fewer in number, so you can much more easily parse whether this item is useful for you, and if it is, then you can take it and further upgrade it and customize it to your own specific build. Tempering is a new system that allows you to really customize the gear that you find. In order to temper, you will need to go to the blacksmith and then choose the recipe that you wish to temper from, and then a random affix from that recipe will be attached onto your gear. Tempering recipes can be found from almost all of the content throughout sanctuaries. So you will actually be looking for tempering recipes that go directly with what you're envisioning. Maybe you're thinking, I'm gonna play a frost sorceress. There are also going to be recipes that are more generic and maybe are just generally good for the sorceress, but you'll be able to choose which one you think is gonna be most powerful with the build you're making for your class. We're making a pretty radical change to the Codex of Power in this season based again on the feedback that has been coming from our players. Now, every single legendary in the game will be entered into your Codex of Power so that you can continually imprint the best possible version of that legendary onto your gear. So going forward, there will no longer be carrying around all of these aspect crystals in your inventory. It's all gonna be in the Codex of Power. So part of the final system that we have is going to be greater affixes. What's a greater affix? Well, we wanna keep it compelling that there are some drops that are even better than the others when you're trying to get the perfect build at endgame. Because of this, in World Tier 4, and only in World Tier 4, when an ancestral legendary item drops, there's a chance the affixes on it can roll as greater affixes. These will roll with bigger values that are normally available for that affix. Greater affixes are fairly rare, but they're not impossible to find. While leveling up, you're gonna be able to find upgrades much more easily with this new system. Another part of itemization is going to be masterworking. Now this is something really intended for that very high end game, again, world tier four. This is where a player is going to take an item, already has the affixes that they want on it, but now they go through a process of upgrading those affixes, getting even higher values on them. Masterworking really starts at level 100. Once you've already completed your build and found some of the best items, you're gonna be able to test your build against the powerful enemies of the pit. The pit is a new endgame system that has been added in this season that is going to challenge players that feel that they have largely maximized their build. By pushing into more difficult tiers of the pit, you're going to be able to unlock rarer crafting materials to masterwork your gear even further. You're gonna to have to play some of the hardest content in the game, but once you do, if you're successful, you can go and make those affixes even stronger. In season four, we're ramping the intensity of the Helltides through the inclusion of a variety of new activities, the first of which is a doubling down and rise of the cultists' presence throughout the tide. You're gonna be running through the Helltides seeing the cultists just conjuring up swarms and swarms of demons, adding to that sense of manic and chaos that you know, they're pretty well known for. The other archetype that we're adding is the presence of the Doomsayers, who were unfortunate enough to be caught out in the tide and basically just lost their minds to all of the mania going on around them. And lastly, rounding out the new activities are just the inclusion of the Iron Wolves. They're finally joining the fight. They could no longer stand on the sidelines seeing the Hell Tides and Hell's forces intensify their assault on Sanctuary. 
As Season 4 players engage and progress through the Call of the Wolves seasonal activity, they'll earn honor with the Iron Wolves, unlocking access to a vast assortment of rewards to accompany and empower your Season 4 journeys. In the updated Helltide, for players who are able to stay alive long enough, they'll be paid a visit by the Hellborn, former heroes of Sanctuary who have aligned with the forces of Hell to attack the allies they once aligned with. Players who are able to take down the Hellborn will be acquiring the materials they need to engage with the new premier Helltide activity, the Accursed Rituals. Located in the Helltide, these Accursed Rituals are pretty much just uh, botched rituals from the cultists that players will be kickstarting for themselves, drawing the attention of all the nearby Helltide monsters in this kind of all-out battle. One of my favorite themes for these ambushes is the Hellworm. It's literally a giant hell slug beast that emerges from the ground and it spews out a whole bunch of mobs at you. If you're able to survive that, you'll be paid a visit from the Blood Maiden, our brand new Helltide mini-boss and one of the ultimate challenges in the new experience. So I think I'm actually most excited about this season because of what you're able to do with your old characters, how they can integrate with this new item game and take them to new levels of power with this system. I think that the best part of this update is that you're gonna be really empowered to build the character that you want to play. You're gonna be able to pick custom affixes and enhance your character in a lot of new and interesting ways.